guys, it's me, Sharon, and welcome back. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. And if you're returning, thank you and welcome back. Make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell. Today on Creative Glam, I'm participating in a collaboration or a challenge. And this challenge is called The Look for Less. It's a monthly challenge and it's being hosted by Yami, the Latina next door. And her co-host this month is Nicole of The Week's Nest. I decided to recreate an item I found on the website at Crate and Barrel. It's the white marble circle stand. It's for $49. I'm going to recreate that look for less. I went to HomeSense and picked up a couple marble plates. I already had some um, vinyl contact paper that I got from Amazon. I had some black premium cardstock from Hero Arts. I already had some wooden skews that I had gotten from the Dollar Tree. And I had a wood block that I got from the garage. I pulled out my Sizzix Big Shot and I cut myself out a circle. Um, my thinking on this was that I was going to use that circle to mimic the hole in the center of the marble tile. Seeing how I didn't have a, I didn't have a marble tile or a glass cutter. And then once I cut it out, I got my Zots, which are like glue dots. I attached them to the uh, cardstock circle and placed it in the center of my marble plate. I then took my skewer that I had from, I then took my skewer cut it down to size about two inches and I wrapped that in some gold contact paper that I got from Amazon. And here I then took my wood block and I wrapped that with faux contact paper that I got from Amazon. So here I'm just trying to get an idea of where I want to glue my skewer for my gold, the gold stand. This is how I want it to look. I'm gonna set it up like this. So here I'm just going to add some uh, Gorilla Glue and some hot glue and glue the, the gold piece to the marble plate. And now I'm going to measure the marbled block and find out where the center is and I'm going to place a really generous amount of hot glue and then I'm going to attach that to the marbled block. And there it is. It's not quite real marble but I think it's cute just the same. I have a corner that I'm going to sit it in and I think it'll look absolutely beautiful. Thanks for tuning in guys. I'm so glad you stopped by and decided to share a little time with me. If you enjoyed my video, let me know. Leave me a comment below. I appreciate you being here and I would love it if you gave me a thumbs up. Again, make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell. Hit it twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Now that you've made it to this point in my video, look down in the description box and follow that link to see the other participants participating in this challenge. Also at the end of this video, you'll see two video links. Click one of the links to see more home decor by Creative Glam. And with that being said, have a blessed day. And I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam. Bye.